Good evening folks. Thank you for watching this medical video. And today I want to talk about the effects of COVID on heart. And many patients are asking me this question. But remember, this is only a general information. If you need to be seen, please come to my clinic. Now, COVID affects every organ in the body. In the lungs, it can cause pneumonia and ARDS. That is like uh, a respiratory arrest. Then on the heart, it can cause myocarditis. On the brain, it can cause encephalopathy and the loss of ability to smell, loss of ability to taste. And it can affect gastrointestinal system causing nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. And on the kidney, it can cause kidney failure. It can affect blood vessels causing thrombi and emboli, basically blood clots. So you see, coronavirus, since it was uh, came uh, since it came upon the world in late 2019, and uh, we are struggling to understand this virus. When it was declared a worldwide pandemic by the World Health Organization on March 11 this year, uh, I was still struggling to answer because there's not much information, but now we have some more information from studies done in the New York City and also in Wuhan, China and in Italy, how this virus affects our body. So I want to share some of those uh, uh, studies with you because on the heart we are seeing dysrhythmias, myocarditis, acute coronary syndrome, and venous thromboembolism, even cardiogenic shock from heart failure. So a wide ranging of, a wide range of uh, cardiac problems can happen. You know, in 25% of patients with COVID-19, they have a heart problem, 25%. And the mortality rate is like 51% in these patients. So 25% of patients are getting increased troponin level, which means their heart is damaged. 25%, that's a lot. So how bad is the damage? We need to look further. In, it in Italy, they studied 388 uh, patients and the rate of diagnosis of acute coronary syndrome was 1.1 percent. So that's that's good. Only 1.1 percent got acute coronary syndrome. And COVID, they found out, can activate coagulation cascade. It can cause endothelial dysfunction. It will make you more prone to blood clots. So when these blood clots pass through the vein, they can cause stroke. They go through the kidney, causing kid kidney failure. They can go to the heart and cause heart failure. And in New York City, in six hospitals, and 18 patients were identified with ST segment elevation. That's a serious problem. And nine patients underwent coronary angiography, and only six of these patients and obstructive coronary artery disease. So this is happening in these patients. Now, can we say that this virus is more virulent toward the heart than other viruses? That is not clear. Many cardiologists like Peter Libby and Paul Ritker, uh, they are practicing cardiologists at Brigham and Women's Hospital and they are studying the impact of COVID-19 on the heart. And we are following these studies because people who have like pre-existing heart disease, like someone with my history of myocardial infarction, uh, that patient is at a greater risk for severe cardiovascular and respiratory complications from COVID-19. So a pre-existing, if you have a pre-existing heart problem, 
you should be more careful during this season and uh, uh, even in influenza virus you see influenza virus can put a lot of stress on the heart and can cause cardiac problems similarly uh, covid can also do the same it can put you more stress on the heart and make it more prone to heart attacks and respiratory infections themselves they put a lot of stress on the heart so some people will have undiagnosed heart disease so they would not even know that their heart is uh, not in good shape so when covid comes it unma unmasks that heart vessel blockage or uh, heart uh, vessel uh, plaque you see the, basically a plaque is a aggregation of endothelial cells and fatty tissue and this plaque sometimes can dislodge from the blood vessel and go and block the blood supply so when covid comes and dislodge this plaque you can expect all kinds of serious heart problems so basically covid is putting lot of stress on the heart we need to remember that and yes covid is infecting the lungs and the lungs carry oxygen uh, the blood comes to the lungs and it gives out carbon dioxide and it takes oxygen and then takes this oxygen all over the body so this gas exchange happens in the lungs but now when the lungs are flooded by covid there is not enough oxygen to carry and the heart muscle is starving for oxygen so lung infection a serious lung infection can put a lot of stress on the heart so you should always think about that mismatch between oxygen supply and oxygen demand and when the patient has fever and inflammation and it accelerate uh, heart rate and increase metabolic demands on many organs including the heart so that stress is compounded if the lungs are infected so covid infections affecting the lungs yes the ekg may look normal in the beginning but remember the lungs must to must work well to protect every other organ in the body because every other organ depends on oxygen supplied by the lung tissue so if you are smoking a lot you need to stop that because smoking uh, impacts your lung function so stop smoking wear your mask and uh, if you have any concerns you need to come and uh, see a doctor if you are in this area come to our hospital i will i would be happy to examine you and uh, my approach is first test for the covid i will give you a covid test if you are positive then um, i will examine your heart and i will i will do an ekg and uh, to see whether how is the health of your heart i might uh, do even an echocardiogram it shows the functional capacity of your heart and we go from there because not everybody needs all these tests because for example if your covid test is negative you don't even have to worry about it but remember this virus is causing myocarditis that means like even people without any heart disease this virus can infect their heart muscle and can cause a disease called myocarditis so that it is basically the infection of the heart muscle by the virus and it can affect heart muscle function and uh, uh, don't be scared because many times 
most of the times actually people will recover from this problem so the best approach is to start with a covid test like for example if you are symptomatic or if you are having any chest pain or respiratory problems you are welcome to visit our clinic i will do the covid testing and then uh if you have more symptoms we can do based upon your clinical picture if you have like chest pains and shortness of breath then we have to do more an ekg a chest x ray and uh, an echocardiogram and to see the health of your heart now what about people who have acute coronary uh, syndromes like myocardial infarction in wuhan they are doing uh, like this they are, if anybody has uh, acute coronary syndrome they are giving fibrinolytics basically this blood clot they are giving clot busters just to destroy the clot with this fibrinolytics and then restore the blood supply and after a few hours they are taking them for angiography and seeing where the blockage is and if there is a blockage they are opening it up and putting a stent or if multiple vessels are involved they are doing a cardiac bypass surgery so everything depends on what we see in your heart so please take this as a general advice and if you have more questions please call our hospital 8144242095 it's 8144242095 Thank you have a good day